Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about remote validation in ASP.NET MVC. Remote is the attribute for validation in data annotation which is used in the model class to validate record instantly. Sometimes we need to check instantly whether a record already exists in the database or not. Let's take example at the time of registration we need to check if the user is already exist with the current user id let's check with example open a new project select a web asp.net web application right then web app remote click on ok empty project mvc pro empty and mvc then click on ok now click on a solution explorer and first we are going to install on Opsruti. Click on manage NuGet package. Go to the browser or write on Opsruti or install it. This I accept. It's a successfully installed. Close that. Now, going to add one controller that will be user controller. MVC user controller. Then, first add the view that index, click on add. Okay, the view is already added. Now we need to add three script file in the layout.cshtml. First one is that open the solution that is script. First one is that mean.js. That mean.js. Next one is that validate mean.js. And third one is that unabstrusy mean.js this three file need required to add close the layout now we are going to add models click on models and select class then write here user model Here I am going to write two properties. First one is that username and second one is that password. Okay. Now we have to create one more class that is a repository class. In the repository class, we are going to add some dummy data. Okay. List of user model. Okay. So this will be the list of user model going to create object list of user model mm -hmm. now going to create one more method it will return that user model dummy data to return then Right, add new user model here username is write visa and password is visa same like Sanjay Third 
what one is that Ajay okay now I will go open the controller user controller create a construct constructor of user controller and write here list of user model create the object okay now create the object of uh, that repository user repository create the object that user repository okay then get the value from the user repository okay. now open the user model and call that data annotation component model dot data annotation so here we are going to write like at required error message username is required the next one I'm going to write that is the remote sorry in the remote first one is that action name so action name is I'm going to write check user exist okay second one will be the controller name controller name will be the user then third one is that error message username already exist okay now I'm going to create this action method in the user control so I'm going to create this action method it's like a public and this action method will return JSON JSON result now write the check user and the string same data type and that username which you have mentioned in a user model so this one is the username I'm going to write username ok make one boolean properties is user exist equal to then list of user model dot any it will that any method will return boolean the model model dot username equal to username then return json the negation because once it will be true so you have to return that false then allow get Okay. something to change in the route config because we didn't create that uh, home controller so it's a user so write the user controller not run the application Now I'm going to create text box for this user model. So open that index your controller that index. Okay. So it will return that user model. Okay. Open the index view that model. Here it will become model. Then user model. Okay. This one is done. Now I'm going to add using that HTML dot begin form begin form first one will be the action name that is index second one is that controller name that is user 
then form method form method will be the post mm -hmm. now here we are going to write div class class will be the form group then we want to write that html dot label for that will be the model model dot username the next will be text box for text box for that model model dot username then HTML attribute that is as that class will be form control. The third one will be the display the error message. If it say any error will happen, then it will be the message validation message for same like model model dot username. Mm -hmm. Then second will be the null that is an error message and third one is the HTML attributes that I'm going to write class text changer. Okay. Same for one for password also. So here we're going to change the name password. Okay. Now I'm going to write one button that is the input type is the button. value is equal to login or registration register ok name will be also register ok till not okay. now run the application So it's was it's redirecting to user dot index page. Now here, just check with that uh, dummy data. What's the name of that dummy data? That is a visa. Just copy the visa. I paste it here. Just check. Username already exists because user visa is already exists. If you want to change that, uh, Ajay. This already exists. See, Ajay is already exist. Now I'm going to write something else. That is uh, Sunil. See, now you are not getting myself because this one is not exist. If you again you are going to write uh, like a visa, it's exist already. So you are getting that error message. Once you are writing here, just you can make a breakpoint in the user control and check user exist. You are writing like which same times you are get, getting here and it's checking that this one fit that uh, your list is checking with any method if it exists or not if it exists it will return true if it's not exist it will return that false okay now because uh, till now you have seen that uh, you are checking with that one properties if you have want to check with the more than one properties then only need to change here that you go to that user model and, and if you want to check with that both username and password then what you have to do just add it here in the second one that password and then you have to write that ad additional field Okay. So additional field with the username. Okay. If you want to write more than one, you you can write like a additional field. Additional field, then that that particular property's name. That is a username. Because this one I am applying for that password. Okay. So what you need to do? So that password, same go to the user control and pass that string that password and here you can check with that and model dot 
password equal to equal to password but same that one this name should be matched with that your model name see that this is a username so it's matching with the username and second one is the password that might matching with that property's name okay. now you run the application okay first you will write that widget you will not get that any error message again that if password will match that like a widget okay see now you are getting that error message if instead of bj i am going to write like a sanjay because both will not match so now you are not getting the error message okay i hope it's clear thank for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel